Here's your field on post parade for the seventh race. Number one, Ublada, Roger Mayotte driving for Fern Stables, who's also the Breeders. Hanover Shoe Farms Incorporated, Brad number two, Sharice Hanover, Steve Condren driving for Diane Ingram and Harry Rutherford. Luke's Redijo three, Frank O'Reilly driving for Glengate Farms, Lukey Mard the Breeder. Anne's Revenge four, Doug Arthur driving for co-owner Douglas Weldon, Douglas Arthur is also the Breeder. Queen of Glory is number five, Tom Stros driving for Robin McClure, Donald Murray, Lloyd Young. Stan Clemensic is the breeder. Chuckalo Chase, the sixth, Chuck Thompson driving for co-owners Chase Brothers Stable, Chuck Thompson and Chase Brothers Stable, the owners. Chippy's Victory Seven completes the field. Paul Walker driving for Dr. David Grant and Ken Grant. And that's your field for the seventh race, third division of the Trillium Stakes for three-year-old trotting fillies. The purse, $25,788. Seven minutes until post time with wind play show exactor and triactor wagering. This field is now in motion and there they go. They're off in trotting. Luke's Reda Joe is the first away for Steve Byron. Ublada along the inside. There goes Roger Mayotte up on the outside now. Firing early to look for the early lead down the center of the track. That's Chuck Alo Chase and Chuck Thompson onto the lead. Ublada settles away second for Roger Mayotte. Luke's Reda Joe is there in third. Unhurried along the inside and fourth is the big favorite, Sharice Hanover. And Condren tugs gently on the right line, comes to the outside, and will look to clear before the quarter pole. Opening quarter in 28 seconds flat, lively tempo here. Sharice Hanover presses on on the outside and will clear before the wire the first time at the 3 8 check in. On the inside second, that's Chuck Galo Chase relenting without a tussle. Two more back to Ublada who trots third. Another two, Luke's Reda Joe is in fourth. And the fifth one is Anne's Revenge. Another two lengths back to Queen of Glory Distance and out of it is Chippy's Victory. They trot towards the half mile pole. Charisse Hanover is on the lead for Condren. He stole the second quarter. The half is 59 and three. 31 and one second split. Charisse Hanover strides out to a length and a half lead and she looks awesome. Taking this field into the backstretch. Chuckalo Chase, the nearest pursuer from second. Roger Mayotte has Ublada well positioned in third. Out comes Luke's Reda Joe on the move to the outside in fourth. Inside three eighths of a mile. Doug Arthur picks up the chase with Anne's Revenge. It's another two back to Queen of Glory. Chippy's victory is out of it, trotting towards three quarters. Sharice Hanover, daughter of Pine Chip, big favorite on the board, three quarters. 129 and four, she's headed all her own way. It's Sharice Hanover on the lead. It's her race to win or lose from here. Chuck Galo Chase getting the best trip of all in second. On the outside of the racetrack in third is Luke's Reda Joe with an eighth of a mile to go. Sharice Hanover will try to give them the slip now. Here comes a Chuck Galo Chase on the inside, far outside of the racetrack for Ublada, but Steve Condren offers no urging to Sharice Hanover. The easiest of winners in 158 and three. Ublada was second, finishing third, Chuck Galo Chase. Here they are. The winner was number two, Sharice Hanover. Sharice Hanover returns. Bay Philly, three years old by Pine Chip from Cosmic Storm by Jazz Cosmos, bred by Hanover Shoe Farms Incorporated. Now owned by Diane Ingham and Harry Rutherford, both of Mount Pleasant, Ontario. Brad Maxwell, the winning trainer, the winning drive to Steve Condren. Sharice Hanover, an easy victory in 158 and three, last quarter in 28 and four. The fractions were 28 flat, 59 and three, 129 and four, the mile in 158 and three fifths. And ladies and gentlemen, Rito Carlson Raceway is very pleased to have on hand this evening, Dr. Ruth Irving from Village Veterinary Clinic, out trackside, making the Trillium Cooler presentation to Steve Condren, Brad Maxwell, and the winning connections associated with number two, Sharice Hanover, our seventh race winner.